Try Talking to Yourself, The Wealth May Surprise You, presented by Theo E. David and the Audio Bookshelf. Welcome back to our audio bookshelf. We hope you enjoy the book and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to get our latest content. Enjoy. Introduction. Visualize waking up each morning with a sense of certainty that today will bring you closer to your financial dreams. What if the secret to achieving abundance and wealth lies not in external actions, but in the words you speak to yourself? The book Try Talking to Yourself is a transformative guide to harnessing the power of self-talk to create the life of prosperity you deserve. Have you ever considered the impact of your inner dialogue? Every day, you engage in an internal conversation that shapes your beliefs, influences your decisions, and ultimately determines your success. This book will show you how to take control of that dialogue and use it to attract the wealth and abundance you desire. Right now, you might be wondering, can talking to myself really make that much of a difference? The answer is a resounding yes. Science has shown that our thoughts and words significantly impact our reality. By consciously choosing empowering and positive words, you can reprogram your mind to align with the energy of abundance. We'll start by exploring the power of affirmations. Affirmations are expressions of positivity that, when repeated regularly, have the power to alter both your perspective and your way of thinking. You'll learn how to craft powerful affirmations tailored to your financial goals and how to incorporate them into your daily routine. These aren't just empty words, they are tools that can reshape your subconscious mind. Next, we'll delve into the science behind self-talk. Understanding how your brain processes language and how your words can create new neural pathways is crucial. This book will break down complex concepts into simple, understandable terms, making it easy for you to grasp the transformative power of your words. You'll also discover techniques to identify and change negative self-talk. Often, the biggest barrier to wealth is our own limiting beliefs and negative thought patterns. This book provides practical exercises to help you recognize these detrimental habits and replace them with empowering ones that support your financial growth. In addition to affirmations, visualization plays a significant role in attracting abundance. By vividly imagining your desired financial state, you create a mental blueprint that guides your actions and decisions. This book will guide you through effective visualization practices that complement your positive self-talk, amplifying your ability to manifest wealth. Within the pages of Try Talking to Yourself, you will discover a collection of motivational experiences of those who have altered their economic situations by utilizing the power of dialogue with themselves. These real-life examples will show you that no matter where you start, you have the potential to achieve extraordinary wealth and abundance. The adventures they have taken will inspire and drive you to take control of the dialogue you have with yourself and create the financial future you want. As you embark on this journey, remember that the words you speak to yourself are powerful tools. By consciously choosing your words, you can shape your reality and attract the wealth and abundance you seek. Did you know your internal dialogue can greatly impact your financial status? In this book, Try Talking to Yourself will explore a step-by-step -step method to transform your self-talk into a powerful tool for financial abundance. You'll learn to identify and overcome negative thought patterns, reframe your beliefs for success, and create a prosperity mindset. As you master the art of positive self-talk and affirmations, you'll find yourself setting and achieving financial goals like never before. Welcome to Try Talking to Yourself. Let your words bring you abundance and wealth. Let's begin this transformative journey together and unlock the financial success that awaits you. Chapter 1, Unlocking the Power of Self-Talk Dive right in and discover how harnessing the power of self-talk can dramatically transform your life, boost your confidence, shape your thoughts, and propel you towards your goals. You're not going crazy if you try talking to yourself. In fact, it's a powerful tool that successful people utilize to overcome challenges, stay focused, and achieve their dreams. Let's break down the mystique surrounding this concept. Self-talk is simply the dialogue you have with yourself, either silently in your head or out loud. It's the constant stream of thoughts that run through your mind daily. You've been doing it since you were a kid, but it's time to take control of it and use it to your advantage. 
Self-talk isn't just about repeating positive affirmations. It's about addressing your fears, acknowledging your strengths, and setting clear intentions. It's about replacing limiting beliefs with empowering ones. You're the narrator of your life story, and you can choose to tell a tale of triumph rather than tragedy. Start by listening to the voice in your head. What's it saying? Is it critical or encouraging? Is it focused on problems or solutions? Is it stuck in the past or looking towards the future? The key is to become more aware of your self-talk so you can start shaping it in a way that serves you. Harnessing the power of self-talk is a journey of self-discovery and transformation. It's not always easy, but it's certainly worth it. You've got the power within you to shape your reality, and it all starts with the words you say to yourself. So, start talking. Chapter 2. Identifying Negative Thought Patterns Before you can conquer the power of self-talk, you need to identify and understand the negative thought patterns that might be holding you back. It's not always easy, but it's an essential first step. You can't change what you're not aware of, right? Though it may be uncomfortable, this journey of self-discovery will empower you to take control of your thoughts and, by extension, your wealth. Negative thought patterns often act like silent saboteurs. These patterns might include thoughts such as, I'm not good enough, I don't deserve success, or I'll never be wealthy. It is possible that you are not even aware that they are present. Nonetheless, they have the power to significantly influence your behaviors and restrict your potential. Becoming aware of your thought patterns is like shining a light on these hidden saboteurs. By doing so, you can begin to challenge them. Chapter 3. Reframing Limiting Beliefs Often, your limiting beliefs are the culprits that stifle your progress and success. It's time to take a closer look at these beliefs and learn how to reframe them into positive affirmations. You might think, I'm not good at managing money, or I've always been poor, so I'll always be poor. But these self-defeating thoughts are precisely what's holding you back. Think about it. If you've convinced yourself that you're bad with money, you'll never put in the effort to improve because you've already accepted defeat. But here's the truth, you're not inherently bad with money, you just haven't learned how to handle it effectively yet. That's a big difference, isn't it? Let's try reframing that thought. Instead of saying, I'm not good with money, tell yourself, I am learning to manage my money effectively. This subtle shift in language removes the negative connotation and replaces it with a more constructive outlook. It opens up the possibility for growth and improvement. Similarly, instead of resigning yourself to perpetual poverty, remind yourself that your current financial situation doesn't dictate your future. Instead of, I'll always be poor, try, I am working towards financial freedom. It's an empowering shift that sets you on the path to wealth. Reframing limiting beliefs isn't about lying to yourself or ignoring reality. It's about nurturing a mindset that encourages growth, learning, and resilience. It's about acknowledging the past and present, but not letting them dictate your future. With practice, you'll find these new affirmations becoming your reality. Chapter 4. Crafting Effective Affirmations for Wealth Creating powerful affirmations for wealth is a critical step in reprogramming your mindset towards financial success. Your words have the power to shape your reality, and by consistently feeding your mind positive affirmations, you can transform your financial situation. But how do you craft these affirmations? Start by identifying what wealth means to you. It's not just about having a lot of money. It's about financial freedom, the ability to provide for your loved ones, and the opportunity to do what you love without worrying about the bills. It's your definition that matters, not society's. Once you've identified your wealth goals, it's time to create your affirmations. Use positive, present tense language. Instead of saying, I will be wealthy, say, I am wealthy. This helps your mind accept the affirmation as a current reality, not a future possibility. Be specific. Instead of saying, I am wealthy, say, I am earning $100,000 a year doing what I love. The more specific your affirmation, the more powerful it will be. Remember, consistency is key. Repeat your affirmations daily, ideally out loud, and envision yourself already living the life you desire. 
Over time, these words will seep into your subconscious mind, and you'll start to see changes in your financial situation. Don't be discouraged if results don't appear immediately. It takes time to reprogram your mindset, but stick with it. Believe in the power of your words, and you'll be on your way to financial success. Chapter 5, Morning Routine for Mental Shift Now that you're equipped with powerful wealth affirmations, let's establish a morning routine that will catalyze your mental shift toward success. Always keep in mind that your morning routine is the foundation upon which your entire day is built, thus it is essential to begin on a constructive and happy note. Begin your day by waking up early. The tranquility of the early morning provides a peaceful environment to focus on your thoughts and plan your day. Start with a 5-minute meditation session. This simple practice will help you clear your mind, focus your thoughts, and set your intentions for the day. Next, set aside 10 minutes to speak your wealth affirmations aloud. As you utter these powerful words, visualize your financial goals being reached, your savings growing, and your wealth increasing. Feel the emotions associated with becoming wealthy and let those feelings fuel your drive for success. Follow your affirmations with a healthy breakfast. It's not just your mind that needs fuel to function optimally, but your body too. Consuming a meal that is both nutritious and well-balanced first thing in the morning will give you the energy you require to face the day head-on. Finally, spend a few minutes planning your day. Prioritize your tasks, setting realistic goals for what you can achieve. It is important to remember to schedule time for breaks and relaxation as well. This routine isn't set in stone. Feel free to modify it to suit your personal needs and preferences. The key is consistency. Stick to your routine, and you'll notice a significant mental shift towards wealth and success. You're on your way to transforming your words into wealth. Chapter 6. Building Self-Awareness In the journey towards success, initiating self-awareness is an essential stepping stone as it empowers you to understand your strengths, weaknesses, and the unique aspects of your personality. It's not about inflating your ego, but rather creating a realistic, honest image of yourself. You're not just learning who you are, but also how you relate to the world around you. Start with self-reflection. Spend time alone and ask yourself thought-provoking questions. What motivates you? What are your values? What are your emotional triggers? It's not always comfortable facing these truths, but it's necessary. The purpose of this endeavor is to get a profound comprehension of your own unique reality. Next, seek feedback from others. People around you can offer valuable insights that you might overlook. Constructive criticism is a treasure trove of opportunities for personal growth, so do not be afraid to approach it. Remember, objectivity is key. You're gathering data, not seeking approval. Journaling is another powerful tool for building self-awareness. Write down your thoughts, feelings, and reactions to different situations. Over time, patterns will become apparent providing you with a more distinct outline of your typical reactions. Finally, practice mindfulness. Be present in each moment and observe your thoughts without judgment. It helps you to respond rather than react, making you a master of your emotions rather than a slave to them. Building self-awareness is a journey, not a destination. It requires consistency, honesty, and courage, but the rewards are immense. As you understand yourself better, You'll make decisions that align with your true self, bringing you closer to success. Chapter 7, Eradicating Fear and Doubt Advancing on your journey to self-awareness, it's important to confront the roadblocks of fear and doubt directly. These emotional barricades can stunt your progress and keep you from reaching your full potential. So, how do you tackle these giants? Start by recognizing your fear and doubt for what they are, mere feelings, not facts. They're just temporary emotions, not lifelong sentences. You have the power to control them and not the other way around. Next, challenge those feelings. If you're afraid of failure, ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? Often, you'll find the reality is far less scary than what you've imagined. If you doubt your abilities, remind yourself of past successes. You've overcome challenges before, and you can do it again. Then, replace fear and doubt with confident affirmations. 
speak words of faith to yourself. Remember, you're learning to let your words bring you wealth, so don't allow negative thoughts to rob you of your riches. Instead, affirm that you're capable, competent, and worthy of success. Repeat these affirmations until they become your new reality. Lastly, take action. Fear and doubt lose their grip when you move forward despite them. It's okay to feel afraid or doubtful, but don't let these feelings paralyze you. Forge ahead, one small step at a time. Eradicating fear and doubt isn't a one-time event, but a continuous process. Keep practicing these steps, and soon you'll be well on your way to a life of self-assured wealth and prosperity. Chapter 8. The Science Behind Positive Talk Activating the power of positive talk can truly transform your life, and there's solid science to back it up. When you try talking to yourself positively, you're not just boosting your mood, you're setting the stage for significant cognitive benefits. Research shows that positive self-talk can increase your motivation, improve your performance, and even reduce stress. It's a brain-boosting strategy built on the power of neuroplasticity, the ability of your brain to change and adapt. Every time you speak positively to yourself, you're training your brain to view challenges as opportunities, to push through obstacles, and to keep progressing towards success. By consistently practicing positive self-talk, you're essentially rewiring your brain for success. You're fostering a more positive mindset, which in turn helps you to approach tasks with more energy and resilience. It's a cycle that feeds on itself. The more positive your self-talk, the better you perform, the more you achieve, and the more confident you become. In essence, positive talk is like a workout for your brain. Just as you train your muscles to be stronger, you're training your brain to be more positive and resilient. In addition, just like physical exercise, it requires an investment of time and perseverance, but the outcomes are well worth the effort. Chapter 9. Creating a Prosperity Mindset Creating a prosperity mindset, a mindset rooted in abundance and optimism, can supercharge your positive self-talk and catapult you towards unparalleled success. It's not about ignoring the reality of your current situation. Rather, it's learning to focus on the possibilities of what you can achieve. This mindset is about believing in your potential to create wealth and not being limited by past circumstances or future uncertainties. Start by acknowledging that your thoughts have power. They can shape your reality and ultimately dictate your successes or failures. Think about it. If you're constantly telling yourself that you're not good enough or you can't do something, chances are you won't be able to. However, if you shift your thinking towards optimism and possibility, you'll open up a world of opportunities. Next, understand that prosperity isn't just about money. Sure, it's a part of it, but prosperity also includes happiness, fulfillment, and overall well-being. When you're developing a prosperity mindset, think about what prosperity means to you and aim for that. Lastly, practice gratitude. Your focus can be shifted from what you do not have to what you do have when you practice gratitude, which can enhance emotions of contentment and abundance. This doesn't mean disregarding your desire for more, but rather recognizing and appreciating your current blessings as a stepping stone to your future success. Chapter 10. Your Current Money Story to truly harness the power of a prosperity mindset, it's important to understand and address your current money story. This is the narrative you've been telling yourself about money and wealth. Have you been viewing money as a scarce resource, a necessary evil, or an abundant energy you can tap into? It's time to critically examine your perceptions, beliefs, and attitudes towards money. Your money story is influenced by various factors, including your upbringing, experiences, and societal norms. You've likely picked up positive and negative attitudes towards money from your parents, peers, and society at large. Understanding this story isn't about laying blame, it's about identifying patterns that may be influencing your financial decisions today. What do you think and feel when you receive money? Are you comfortable asking for a raise or charging what you're worth, or do you feel guilty, anxious, or unworthy? Your emotional response to money is a significant part of your money story. Remember, your current money story isn't your final destination, it's only a starting point. Taking the time to understand your money story means you're taking responsibility for your financial future. 
you're stepping into the driver's seat, ready to navigate towards wealth and prosperity. In the next chapter, we'll explore how you can break free from scarcity. But for now, focus on understanding your money story. It's your first step towards rewriting a more empowering and prosperous narrative. Chapter 11, Breaking Free from Scarcity Now, let's tackle the scarcity mindset, the invisible chain that's been holding you back from true financial freedom. Remember, scarcity isn't about what you have, it's about how you think. It's a mindset that keeps you stuck in a cycle of fear, worry, and frustration. You've been conditioned to believe that there's never enough, enough money, enough opportunity, enough success. But that's simply not true. You see, the scarcity mindset is like a self-fulfilling prophecy. When you constantly worry about not having enough, you're sending out a message to the universe that you lack resources. And guess what? The universe responds accordingly. You become trapped in the scarcity cycle, always chasing after more and never feeling satisfied. But here's the good news, you can break free. You have the power to change your mindset and your life. Start by recognizing your scarcity thoughts. When you catch yourself thinking, I can't afford it, flip it around. Instead, ask yourself, how can I afford it? When you find yourself thinking, there's never enough, challenge that thought. Ask yourself, is that really true? Chapter 12, Embracing Abundance Mentality Once you've begun to challenge your scarcity thoughts, it's time to fully embrace an abundance mentality, a mindset that believes plenty is available for everyone. This paradigm shift is key to realizing your wealth potential. Remember, wealth isn't just about money, it's about experiencing richness in all areas of life. Open yourself to the idea of limitless possibilities. It's not about hoarding resources or stepping on others to get ahead. The universe is bountiful, and there's enough for everyone. You're not in competition with others for resources. You're in cooperation with the universe to bring about abundance in your life. Start by changing your language. Instead of saying, I can't afford it, say, how can I afford it? This small shift changes your focus from lack to finding solutions and opportunities. It sparks creative thinking and opens doors to possibilities. Train your mind to see abundance everywhere. Look at nature. It's filled with examples of abundance, the countless stars in the sky, the multitude of grains of sand on a beach, the myriad of leaves on a tree. If nature can be abundant, why not you? Abundance isn't something you acquire. It's something you tune into. Trust that you're deserving of abundance in all its forms. Affirm this belief daily, and you'll start attracting wealth and prosperity into your life. Chapter 13, The Power of Gratitude Practice Harnessing the power of gratitude can be a game-changer in your journey towards an abundant life. It's more than just saying thank you. What's important is to have a genuine appreciation for what you have, to recognize the positive aspects of your life and to acknowledge that the origin of that positivity is not within yourself. Practicing gratitude consistently can shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance, and this shift is a key step in attracting wealth. Now, you may wonder, how can I practice gratitude? Don't worry, it's simpler than you think. Keeping a thankfulness notebook is a good place to start. Make it a habit to note down three things you are grateful for each day. They don't have to be big. A simple thing like a cup of hot coffee in the morning or a conversation with a close friend could be enough. The important thing is to genuinely feel the gratitude in your heart. Next, express your gratitude outwardly. Thank those around you for their efforts and kindness. Not only does this spread positivity, but it also enhances your relationships, creating a supportive environment for your wealth-building journey. Remember, gratitude isn't a one-off act. It's a practice. It's about making a conscious choice every day to focus on the positives and appreciate what you have. This practice can transform your perspective, making you more receptive to opportunities for wealth and success. Embrace gratitude, and you'll find that the world becomes a place of abundance, a place where wealth isn't just possible, it's inevitable. Chapter 14, Visualizing Financial Success Building on the power of gratitude, another valuable tool in your journey towards financial abundance is the art of visualizing your success. 
This isn't just daydreaming or wishful thinking. It's about creating a mental picture of your desired financial success and using it to influence your subconscious mind. Visualization acts as a blueprint for your mind. It helps program your subconscious to work towards the achievement of your financial goals. Start by picturing what financial success looks like for you. Is it a comfortable home, a new car, or perhaps funding your child's education without stress? Whatever it may be, visualize it in detail. See the colors, hear the sounds, and feel the emotions. This isn't just an image, it's a living, breathing scenario you're crafting. Next, incorporate this visualization into your daily routine. Spend a few minutes each morning and evening focusing on your vision. Allow yourself to feel as if you've already achieved your financial goals. This isn't about deluding yourself. It's about priming your mind for success. Chapter 15, Writing Your New Reality Now, let's immerse ourselves in the power of scripting your future, a powerful technique that can turn your financial dreams into reality. It's not magic. It's about creating a vivid, tangible blueprint of the wealth you want to accumulate. Imagine holding a pen that has the power to draw your future. That's right, you're the author here. You've got the power to write your own financial story. Start with where you see yourself in the future. How much wealth do you have? What kind of lifestyle are you living? Write it down in the present tense as if it's happening right now. Today, I am financially free. I earn a steady income from multiple sources that effortlessly cover all my needs and desires. I live in a luxury house, drive the car of my dreams, and travel to places I've always wanted to see. Doesn't that feel empowering? That's the power of scripting. You're not just dreaming, you're creating a new reality for yourself, a reality that your mind can believe and work towards. Your words have power, use them wisely. They're the seeds you're planting for your future wealth. But remember, like any seed, it requires consistent nurturing. Revisit your script regularly, feel the emotions, believe in the reality you've scripted, and watch your financial dreams unfold. In the next chapter, we'll explore how you can reprogram your mindset to fully embrace this new reality. But for now, focus on writing your new reality. Make it as detailed and as vivid as possible. Your future wealth depends on it. Chapter 16, Reprogramming Your Mindset Without delay, let's immerse ourselves in the process of reprogramming your mindset, an essential step in turning your scripted reality into your lived experience. It's not just about dreaming big, it's about transforming your thoughts into a wealth-oriented mindset. Begin by identifying your current beliefs about money. Are they limiting or empowering? Remember, your beliefs directly influence your actions. If you believe you're incapable of accumulating wealth, then that's the reality you'll manifest. But you have the power to change this. Consciously decide to banish those limiting beliefs. Replace them with positive, wealth-oriented thoughts. Like a diligent gardener, weed out the negative beliefs and plant seeds of positivity. Repeat these new beliefs to yourself daily. This repetition is the key to reprogramming your mindset. Also, embrace the concept of abundance. Understand that there's plenty in the world for everyone, including you. Let this be your new narrative. Moreover, surround yourself with success stories. Read about people who've achieved financial prosperity. This won't only inspire you, but also reinforce the belief that wealth is attainable. Lastly, be patient. Reprogramming your mindset isn't an overnight process. It requires consistency and unwavering faith in your ability to create wealth. Chapter 17, Letting Go of Past Failures Shedding the heavy cloak of past failures is your next essential step towards financial prosperity. It's natural to hold on to past failures. They sting, they're painful reminders, and they can feel like permanent black marks against your confidence. But here's the truth, they're not. Your past failures don't define you. They're simply lessons learned on your path to financial success. Let's be practical. Past failures are just outcomes that didn't meet your expectations. They're not life sentences. You've got to let them go to move forward. Yes, they may have left scars, 
but those scars can serve as reminders of lessons learned, not as anchors holding you back. Start by acknowledging your past failures. It's okay to fail, everyone does. It's part of the journey. Understand that failure isn't the opposite of success, it's part of it. Through the process of learning what does not work, each failure takes you closer to achieving success. Next, forgive yourself. You're human, you're allowed to make mistakes. You're allowed to fail. Don't let past failures weigh you down. The power to forgive yourself rests in your hands. Use that power. Lastly, learn from your failures. Don't try to forget them. Instead, analyze what went wrong. Use your failures as stepping stones, not as stumbling blocks. Each failure is a chance to improve, to grow, to get better. Chapter 18, The Art of Positive Self-Talk Mastering the art of positive self-talk is your next challenge on this journey, and it's one that can transform your outlook on life and finances. This isn't some fleeting new age trend, it's a proven psychological tool that can rewire your brain to foster success. Your thoughts are powerful. They shape your reality, and they can either propel you forward or hold you back. Positive self-talk means using words that encourage growth, success, and positivity. Instead of telling yourself, I can't afford this, try, how can I make it affordable? By reframing your thoughts, you're not just pacifying a negative situation, you're actively seeking solutions. Negativity breeds fear and doubt, but positive self-talk encourages daring and confidence. Harness this, and the world of wealth is yours. Picture your financial success. Visualize it, believe in it, and talk yourself into it. However, it's not just about blind positivity, it's about being realistic and constructive. If you're in debt, don't deny it. Acknowledge it, but then say, I'm capable of overcoming this debt. Self-talk is a tool, but like all tools, it requires practice to perfect. Start with simple phrases that resonate with you. Remind yourself of your financial goals and reassure yourself that you can achieve them. Chapter 19, Your Daily Affirmation Practice Now, let's immerse ourselves in the practice of daily affirmations, a powerful ritual that can amplify your positive self-talk and accelerate your journey towards financial freedom. This isn't just about wishful thinking or mindless repetition of words. It's about consciously choosing words that align with your financial goals and then infusing them with your belief and emotion. Start each day with a clear, concise affirmation related to your financial goals. Make it personal, positive, and present tense. Instead of saying, I will be rich, say, I am becoming richer every day. Feel the truth in those words, let them sink into your subconscious and shape your reality. Maintaining consistency is essential. Establish this as a regular routine, just like brushing your teeth. Perform the task first thing in the morning and again before going to bed at night. The impact it can have can be life-changing, and it will not take more than a few minutes to complete. This isn't about instant gratification, it's a slow and steady process. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. But how do you keep up the momentum? Keep your affirmations visible. Write them on sticky notes, put them on your mirror, make them your phone wallpaper. Seeing them regularly will keep them at the forefront of your mind. And finally, be patient with yourself. Though it may feel odd at first, give it time. Like any new habit, it will become second nature with practice. Embrace the journey. The transformation is part of the reward. Let your words be your guide and let them lead you to the wealth you seek. Chapter 20, Overcoming Self-Doubt and Fear Pushing past self-doubt and fear might seem like a steep mountain to climb, but it's absolutely essential on your journey to financial freedom. These emotional barriers can hinder your progress and keep you from reaching your full potential. However, you are not alone in this battle. Many have faced these obstacles and come out victorious, and you can too. First, identify your fears. Are you afraid of failure? Or perhaps it's the fear of success that's holding you back. Whatever it is, recognition is the first step towards overcoming it. Write them down and confront them head-on. Next, practice positive self-talk. 
replace the negative voices in your head with positive affirmations. For instance, instead of saying, I can't do this, say, I can and I will. It's as simple as changing your vocabulary. Also, surround yourself with positivity. Negative surroundings breed negative thoughts. Seek out positive influences and let their energy boost your confidence and motivation. Lastly, don't let a setback deter you. Failures are merely stepping stones to success. They're lessons, not losses. Embrace them and learn from them. Chapter 21, Building Resilience and Confidence In the face of adversity, your resilience and self-confidence can become your most powerful allies. That's why building these two qualities is essential. You see, resilience isn't just about bouncing back, it's about growing through what you go through. It's about using the obstacles on your path as stepping stones to reach higher ground. And self-confidence, that's the belief in your own ability to overcome, to succeed, to thrive. But how do you build these qualities? First off, understand that it's a journey, not a destination. You don't wake up one day fully resilient and brimming with confidence. It's a process of small daily steps. Start by setting realistic goals. Achieving these goals, no matter how small, can boost your confidence and prove to yourself that you're capable. Next, embrace a positive mindset. See challenges as opportunities for growth, not roadblocks. The adoption of this new point of view has the potential to strengthen your resilience, enabling you to gracefully deal with challenges. Don't forget to practice self-care. You can't pour from an empty cup. The maintenance of your physical and mental health, which in turn strengthens your resilience and confidence, requires that you engage in regular physical activity, consume a nutritious diet, and get an adequate amount of sleep. Lastly, surround yourself with positivity, positive people, positive environments, positive experiences. They'll lift you up, inspire you, and affirm your worth. Chapter 22, The Power of Daily Reflection Harnessing the power of daily reflection can become your secret weapon in cultivating resilience, boosting self-confidence, and fostering personal growth. Daily reflection is more than just thinking about your day. It's about taking an honest look at your actions, decisions, and their results. Allow yourself a few quiet moments each day to reflect on your actions. What did you do well? What could you have done better? This isn't about beating yourself up over mistakes, but about acknowledging them and learning from them. You're human, you're bound to make mistakes. It's what you do with those mistakes that shapes your future. Reflection also helps you become more mindful. When you reflect, you're in the moment, fully engaged and present. You're not worrying about the future or regretting the past. This mindfulness can reduce stress, increase happiness, and help you make better decisions. You're not just living, you're learning. You're not just surviving, you're thriving. And most importantly, reflection helps you see your progress. You might feel like you're not getting anywhere, but when you look back, you'll see how far you've come. You'll see the mistakes you've avoided, the challenges you've overcome, and the victories you've won. You'll see that you're stronger and wiser than you were before. Chapter 23, Your Path to Financial Freedom Starting on the path towards financial freedom might seem intimidating, but remember, it's not just about making more money, it's about managing what you have effectively and making it work for you. You've got to understand your financial reality right now. Where are you standing? What are your resources, your debts, your income? Get a clear picture of this. Next, set your financial goals. Want to buy a house, retire early, or just live comfortably? Define what financial freedom means to you. It's your journey. It's your definition. Write it down. Be specific, ambitious, but realistic. This is your North Star, guiding you on your path. Now it's time to make a plan. You've got the destination. Now you need the route. Break down your financial goals into manageable milestones. Put their needs first. Make a budget. Determine what expenses you can cut down or eliminate. Look for ways to increase your income, maybe by taking on a side job or investing wisely. Then, start taking action. 
Start with the easiest steps. Pay off your smallest debts. Save a little each month. Gradually, as you gain confidence and see progress, tackle the bigger challenges. Remember, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. You'll have setbacks. That's okay. Don't get discouraged. Keep going. Stay focused. Try talking to yourself. Encourage yourself. Celebrate the small victories, they'll add up. Your financial freedom is within reach. Believe in yourself. You've got this. You're on your way. You're creating a future where your words bring you wealth. You're walking your path to financial freedom. Chapter 24, Embracing Your New Reality As you journey towards your financial goals, embracing your new reality becomes an empowering step forward. This isn't about forgetting your past or disregarding your current circumstances, but about acknowledging the changes you're making. You're not just saying goodbye to old habits and thought patterns, you're welcoming new ones that will serve your financial growth. Understand, this new reality isn't confined to your bank account, it's a complete transformation of your mindset, your priorities, and your daily actions. You're learning to see money not as a source of stress, but as a tool for prosperity and freedom. This shift in perspective won't happen overnight. There may be days when old fears creep in or when the end goal seems unreachable. But remember, you're in control. Start by acknowledging your progress, no matter how small. Celebrate the first dollar saved, the first debt paid off, the first time you chose long-term gain over short-term gratification. These victories aren't minor, they're proof of your growing financial wisdom. Next, Practice gratitude. Be thankful for the opportunities you have to create wealth, for the lessons learned from past mistakes, and for the future you're building. This positive attitude will keep you grounded and focused. Finally, keep learning. Read books, attend seminars, follow financial experts. Equip yourself with the knowledge needed to navigate your financial journey effectively. Embracing your new reality is more than adjusting to a new financial status. It's about becoming the person who can handle, grow, and enjoy the wealth you're working towards. And you're already on your way. Chapter 25. Maintaining Momentum and Growth To keep the financial growth you've worked so hard for, it's important that you maintain your momentum and constantly seek ways to further your progress. Remember, wealth isn't a destination but an ongoing journey. It's not enough to just reach a certain financial milestone, you must aim to continually build upon it. Your words play a significant role in this process. When you try talking to yourself, make sure you're feeding your mind with positive, growth-oriented thoughts. Tell yourself that you can and will keep advancing. Your internal monologue is a potent instrument that can assist you in sustaining your momentum and continuing to work towards achieving greater wealth. One practical way to ensure continuous growth is by reinvesting your profits. Instead of spending your earnings, put them back into your wealth-building efforts. You've got to keep feeding the goose that lays the golden eggs. Also, never stop learning. The world of finance is constantly evolving, and so should your knowledge. Always make sure you are up-to-date on the most recent opportunities, strategies, and trends. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case, it can translate to more wealth. Finally, celebrate your wins, no matter how small. These small victories will keep you motivated and help you stay on track. Maintaining momentum and growth isn't easy, but it's possible. You have the power to fuel your financial journey with positive self-talk, continuous learning, and wise investing. Keep pushing, keep growing, and let your words bring you wealth. Don't let doubts deter you. You might think, can I really shape my own financial destiny with just words? Absolutely. You've got the power to change your life with your self-talk. Stay committed to practicing these steps daily. Let your words usher in a new era of wealth and prosperity. Remember, it's not just about the money, but the freedom, confidence, and growth you'll achieve. So, start speaking your wealth into existence today. Thanks for listening and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and also click the small bell icon to receive a notification every time a new free audiobook has arrived. 
Thanks again.